Sarah Pearson from Special Olympics Connecticut. I'm pleased to welcome you to this year's Unified Sports Holiday Classic Virtual Celebration. I'd like to thank our presenting sponsors, our friends from the Connecticut Elks Association for their continued support. And I'm so proud of our athletes for staying healthy and fit during the season by participating in bowling, contemporary and hip hop dance, three, two, one fitness challenge, and the punt, pass, and kick. Stay with us because we have an exciting show ahead. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's events. I am very excited to be part of the 2020 very first virtual unified sports holiday classic season. The Connecticut Elks are proud to have been involved as a presenting sponsor for this event, the volleyball competition, soccer at summer games, penguin plunges, and other fundraising over the past 20 years. On behalf of the 21,000 Connecticut Elk members, I would like to extend our best wishes and congratulate our athletes and friends on doing their activities remotely, as well as staying healthy and fit during this tough time. We miss not being able to spend this weekend with you this year as we traditionally do. We look forward to an exciting 2021 when we can be back on the court and the fields together again. Best wishes to all for a safe, healthy, and happy holiday season. It is now my pleasure to introduce Claire Decker from the Rockville Lodge to lead us in singing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free? And the home of the brave. Hi everyone, I'm Charlene for the Bristol Special Olympics. I am here to tell you the coach's oath. In the name of all coaches and in the spirit of sportsmanship, I promise that we will act professionally, respect others, and ensure a positive experience for all. I promise to provide quality sports and training opportunities in a safe environment for all athletes. And I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And everyone, please stay safe and we will see you next year. Happy Holidays! Let me win, or if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Hello to all of my friends with Special Olympics. I'm so excited to join you for the 2020 Special Olympics Connecticut Unified Sports Holiday Classic Virtual Celebration. I was happy to hear that some of you were able to get back together with your team for practices and that those who couldn't were able to stay active at home by participating in virtual activities. On behalf of NBC Telemundo and NBC Connecticut, I congratulate you on all of your accomplishments this year. I also wish you a safe and happy holiday season. We miss you and we hope to see you soon. 
Hi everyone, it's Caitlin Birchall. Hi to all my friends with Special Olympics. It's so exciting to be here today and welcome to the 2020 Special Olympics Connecticut Unified Sports Holiday Classic Virtual Celebration. It's my pleasure to be with you today to represent NBC Connecticut and Telemundo Connecticut. We are so proud to sponsor and celebrate you today and throughout the year. It's been a really hard year, right? A difficult one and, and a different one too. So I so applaud you for continuing to stay active, whether it's through your sports or other virtual activities. Now that you've demonstrated your athletic ability, it's time to take off those sneakers and put on your dancing shoes. We hope you'll take part in the Zoom Room Victory Dance coming up at seven o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Mason, Senior Vice President and CFO for Special Olympics Connecticut. I'd like to welcome all of you to the celebration of the 2020 Unified Sports Holiday Classic season. Special thanks to all the sponsors who made the season possible, especially the Connecticut Elks Association who are celebrating their 20th anniversary with Special Olympics. Through your thousands of hours of dedicated volunteer support, and your over $440,000 of generous financial support, you've made Special Olympics a reality for thousands of athletes across the state of Connecticut. To the athletes, your dedication to your sports is a shining ray of hope and joy for all of us during these very difficult times. We hope all of you can join us tonight at 7 p.m. for the Victory Dance. I hope you have a great time. From our family here at Special Olympics to you and your family, we wish you all a very happy, healthy, and safe holiday season. It is my great honor to say these words. Let the games begin.
I've been in the field for over 25 years now and at University of St. Joseph in West Hartford since fall of 2016. And I have a bachelor's, a master's, and a PhD in nutrition, registered and licensed dietitian, and board certified specialist in sports dietetics. I all know that nutrition is incredibly important for health, quality of life, but not everybody has the same access to nutrition services as they should. And I personally feel uh, I think you'd probably share this view that the Special Olympic athletes are an underserved population. Uh, so if we could get equity for them in terms of having health and nutrition services and basically having the same availability that everyone else has, you know, that to me has more of an impact than other areas of my job. And having the opportunity to work with the Special Olympic athletes is a unique opportunity that, you know, not that many undergrads get. And we involve our undergrads, we involve our dietetic interns, we involve our graduate assistants, and they learn hands on and they can experience what it's like out in the community with these athletes. And we never lack for volunteers. So. We were facilitating the nutrition performance station. We had an athlete come through and what their, the task is for them at the performance station is to take my plate, which is just a visual of what their plate should look like for a healthy eating plan. And then they select food for each category. And so we see if they get it correct. And we had an athlete that came through and he was struggling a bit with where the foods would go. And we were actually just about to step in and help him. But before we even got there, one of the other athletes that was just hanging out with us and chit chatting, she went over and very patiently walked him through the full nutrition performance station and helped him make the correct selections. So, I mean, we were just thrilled and amazed that not only was the female athlete retaining the information, but then she just helped her fellow athlete. And so now he also had the information. So we loved that. As I mentioned, we started with just one winter games, one nutrition performance station. But since then we've done summer games with multiple locations. So nutrition performance stations at more than one location and to do that, we need really strong volunteers helping. It's not just me. So we had Kaneen Gomez Hickson, who's been involved since day one. She stepped up and handled one of the performance nutrition stations at one location. Stephanie Vivier, who also has been involved since day one, handled the other one. And then they each had a team of volunteers. So Morgan McDonald, who's um, very, very highly involved and might actually go into this field, which is wonderful. She's one of our dietetic interns now. And she, this has really, really been a passion for her. So she's been a wonderful volunteer. Um, April Flores has been a, very heavily involved. Shana Petit, who just did our, our cooking, our Zoom cooking class, which is another thing I wanna mention that we have started and those are a lot of fun. We've done the family health fairs. Uh, oh my goodness, all of the eight week challenges over this summer when we had to switch to online, those were a lot of fun. What am I missing, Nicole? We've done so much more. I can't even think, although the research projects, um, we've finished one and we're starting a brand new one soon. So having the population where we can deliver nutrition to an entire population, small groups, individuals, we've got some getting ready for the world games. So we're going to work with them soon. But then having all these platforms that you guys have just so creatively put together. So the Facebook groups and the zoom sessions that has helped us be able to deliver the message that we want. So, so the last thing that I want to mention is just you know, how appreciative I am of both of you, Nicole and Caitlin, for the nomination, because it really does mean a lot to me. And I think this is probably my most special award. And um, 
I think that, you know, it's all of ours together because it is the partnership. And so I'm just thrilled to receive it and thank you.